Good morning. It's uh, Super Tuesday. I start my new job today at Classic Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Corinth, and it's also Super Tuesday. What an adventure this is going to be. It's been, God, I guess a decade since I've sold cars. So let's see how it goes, shall we? Oh, it looks like I'm here at the polling place. Let's go in and do our civic duty and vote in the Texas primary. Everyone do the same. Well, that went pretty quick. It's kind of odd. The Republican side here in Coppell was quite full of people. Democratic, not so much. I wonder what that tells you about this uh, little bubble here in North Dallas. Hmm. Anyway, off to Classic. Let's see what happens. Well, guys, I'm here. Took me roughly 40 minutes with traffic. Not too bad. Classic Chrysler Jeep Dodge. First day of car sales. Here we go. Guys, I'm here. This is the look of the showroom floor. I'll go get some outside shots here in a little bit. Everybody seems nice and friendly. The place is clean. Quite impressed. No, it doesn't really look like you can see it much. There we go. Big new employee manual to go through. I'm sure this will take a couple of hours. But this is going to be my new home. Not bad. Nice purple charger sitting right out there. I think that's a 392. We know we like the purple. And the traffic out in front. So let's see how it works today. We'll get more of it. Just as a side note, the store opens at 8, so great start to the day. I'm a half hour late. The paper for work filled out. Now let's go take a tour of the store and see what we got to work with. Maybe we'll get some logins and passwords today. What do you bet? Yay? Nay? You tell me. Well, like every salesman, you got to park in the back. I parked in the service area, obviously not far enough into the back 40. It's kind of a typical dealership. Everybody ignores you. Don't blame them. I'm the FNG. They really don't expect me to be here more than 90 days. We'll see. Really haven't had much uh, graciousness, we'll say, from uh, the crew yet. But you know what? I've been here only an hour. Maybe a little over. It's still early in the day yet. We still got to do our facility tour. We'll video that as well. All right, we're in the back 40, kind of walking up towards the main dealership. This is the parking area for the employees. There's the Purple Beast sitting all by itself. Sure hate to get it out of the garage, but you know, you do what you got to do, right? So as we're coming through, Let's take a look at what we got. This is the side of the building. Looks like our service department. Parts department. Make ready, I'm assuming. You know. They tell me they have 600 plus units in stock. Several over on this side. And then there's a Ram truck facility down over on the other side. We'll take a little walk through their service drive. Take a look at it. Look through the building a little bit. Look at the frontage. And really see what we've got. Service drive, service advisors. I'm sure I'll get to know these guys pretty well. It's like the customer lounge is over here. Kind of the outside of the facility, the side door coming into the store. More of their inventory. As you can see, I'm out here on I-35, just south of Denton. 
Lots of traffic, lots of construction. I'm sure this will be a foo bar for the next few years. Let's see if I can get the sun. I really can't tell if I got it or not, but this is the front of the building. We've got Mr. FedEx just showed. Looks like we got some kind of cool laid out Jeeps. Oh, those will come in handy. Looks like we got some more Jeeps. That'll come out pretty handy. Dodge Center's over on that side. We'll go over that here in a little while. Let's go inside, shall we? Boy, everything's going to LED. Unbelievable. And we're into the showroom floor. There's that purple 392 charger I was talking about. That's a bad wambo jambo. Not a bad place. Let's see what else we can do and my home really don't know what's down this area let's go find out shall we looks like a customer waiting area that's the salesman lunch bend I'll we'll assume this is parts department. And the service area. What's going on, Mike? Very nice. Very nice. Looky there. Do you know how many stores I tried to get this done in? I don't know if you can really see that very well, but it's an appointment board. What a nice time. This right here is our demo line and our retired loaner cars. These will be the fun ones to sell. Our vans, trucks, commercials, everything. They have a lot full of trucks. It looks like to me that this is a pretty good truck business country or truck country business. I don't know quite how to phrase that. Truck country. Let's just leave it at that. We got a whole bunch of them. Super Tuesday with the flags on. That's kind of a nice touch. Here's their Ram building. They also own the Mazda store over here as well. Do you know this organization also owns the largest Chevrolet dealer in the country? It's in Grapevine called Classic Chevrolet. Let's go ahead and walk into the used car building. Nah, it's in the used car building. The truck building. What am I saying? And take a look around. What do you think? I will not put Natasha in this video. She requested not to be in it. <laughs> so this is their truck center. Look at that, a real key machine. Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a real key machine? Wake up, RFJ. Put these in your stores. Save you thousands a month in lost keys. Not a little bad little place to sell some trucks. We'll get across to used cars here later today. Okay, guys, just had my first customer found them on the service drive looks like they're a few months out cute couple the summer bills two twins and a little year and a half one. or a year and a half little boy one year and a half little boy 18 months I guess anyway looking at a Dodge Durango I'm surprised a Durango is so similar to the Jeep on the interior it's quite amazing drove good a little six-cylinder 300 horsepower like the vehicle it's kind of cool so it looks like it is I don't know 
12, 30 or so. Found a customer already. Well, well you know, I've had two customers today. Uh, looks like they want me to go ahead and cut out for the day because tomorrow is bell to bell. Looks like the B team, which I am not on, is off tomorrow. No big deal. It is what it is, right? Starting to get my passwords working. Things are going to be hunky and dory. Hello, kitties. Not a bad day. Talked to a couple of people. One couldn't uh, couldn't trade out of his car if he wanted to. Never refinance an automobile. Bad idea. Another one's going to come in. Maybe for a birthday gift, for his wife, for an anniversary gift. I'm not really sure. Good people, though. Enjoyed them. You know, walking out to the parking lot. It was kind of fun. Definitely different. Most of my logins don't work. Well, that's kind of... We'll see you later, man. But uh, seem to be pretty good people that work here. I think I'm going to enjoy myself. You know, take a little time to get into the groove of things, but everything's going to be cool. Like the product, seem to like the people. Of course, the salespeople, you know, they're a little leery of me. I was the same way. We all were. You know, you don't, you don't really talk to anybody for 90 days. Make sure they're going to stay while learning their name, right? Anyway... They've already turned me on to some of their data mining. So that'll be handy. We'll get something rolling. There's another new guy that started today. I believe his name was Morgan. He comes from Wyoming. Nose of the Dave Smith. Said that they used to have a lot of competition with him, I guess. Anyway, somehow or another, he got an order car. Not quite sure how he did that. But... Hey, you know what? More power to him. I'll get mine. He can get his. Heading home. Long day. Tomorrow is bells to bells. So, we'll talk to you guys soon. John Shoemaker, Chrysler. No, wait a minute. Let's try that again. John Shoemaker, Classic, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, Truck, and occasionally a used car. See you guys later.